Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today is Make uh, Twisted Tuesday and I am just going to work really close right about here to make these cute little mini journals. I thought this would be a cute little addition to any junk journal or any happy mail. Just pop it in the envelope with a little clip and you're good to go. I think anybody would be really happy to get something like this. Like this just has a few blank sheets inside of here. A couple of them has book pages in it. Some has some like some old journal uh, writing in there. And I just made these little uh, book plates to go on the front of the journal with either a sticker or I made it out of some craft scrap paper. Okay, so this can be done with nothing but scraps. All right, guys, go grab some scraps. Let's make some mini journals. I'll be right back. So today we're working really close, about this close. I'm going to try to keep it all in frame for you. Um, I guess you can use this as a little tuck. You can tuck it into a pocket that's already existing in a journal, or you can use it as a stocking stuffer or as happy mail. I would just clip this into an envelope that I'm sending already to someone. And it's a cute little mini journal for them to jot down notes and what have you in it and I think it looks really stinking cute so I made two of them here's the other one and I'm going to show you guys how I made this journal with the hinge on regular double-sided paper it has a little hinge here um, with my circle punch so this is my oversized circle punch it's the largest one I have I think they go up to three inches but this is a two and a half and all I really did was take my um, cardstock, double-sided cardstock. This one happens to be single-sided and I just folded it uh, so that it's just under two and a half. So here's my fold mark. When I press this all the way down it comes right up to two and a half but not quite. So just slightly under two and a half inches. Just want to give this a little crease right here. And you can use your bone folder to get a nice tight crease on it. And then whatever's hanging off down here, don't worry about it because it won't be in the project. So I'm just going to slide my folded edge into my circle punch, but not all the way to the top, right? So you want to leave a little bit of a gap, probably a sliver okay just make sure that your entire double-sided piece of paper is tucked in here at the bottom and you have that much left over at the top okay and I'm just gonna punch it through okay and now I have this isn't that cute okay and <laughs> I think that um, I think these are cute little projects anybody would probably love to get a little round mini journal in their in their mail so here's um, just some regular copy weight paper this is about four sheets of copy weight paper I'm just going to fold that again in half or up to about two and a half inches and this gave me such a hard time earlier. I hope it works this time without any grief. So I'm just gonna slide my pages up in there just before I get to the edge of the first page. And here we go. I'm just going to punch it through. Let's hope this works. It's giving me such a problem here. Let me back you guys up a little bit so I'm not blinding you with my struggles. <laughs> so here, let's try this again. I think it's just one little corner of my circle punch does not want to go all the way through eight sheets of paper. So let's pull them out and see what we got. Okay. I can fix that, not a problem. Tim Holtz snips to the rescue. This will just go around here like so. We'll come back around here to the front. See, that's separated. 
and then right about there perfect this last page did get mangled a little bit in the circle punch but I'm not worried one bit this will now fit down inside of my circle cover and whatever it hangs over I mean that normally happens anyway with any junk journal you can just go in and fussy cut around it you won't even notice that it's there and I'm just gonna use my little tiny stapler to give me my closure so this is what's going to hold all of my pages together including the cover one little staple that's all you need and I'm going to close up my staples with um, my bone folder and there you have it so yeah I have all these other little covers that I can make a whole bunch of little cute things with so here let's try that again I'm not going to use any more of this copy paper but I'm just going to decorate a couple of these covers so I did this one with a little um, a little sticker of a uh, book plate but then I went ahead and made one myself this is just scrap paper that I cut so you just cut away some scrap depending on the size that you want to make it and then I used my little border punches here gave myself a, a little edge all the way around and now you have that right so like so simple right and I'm just going to ink around the edges of the one that I've already made you can add color to this I mean here just going to add a little bit of color here you can use a stamp so if you do not have one of these little stickers like I just made one with scrap paper right so there's that or you can take a stamp if you have a stamp I have the silicone polymer stamp right here I'm just going to stamp it onto some scrap craft paper using my VersaFine ink uh, this is uh, onyx black which is probably jet black for everything else so yeah I just made that and once it dries you can just cut it out and stick it right on there I think that'll look great so here's my version of a homemade little book plate I'm just gonna use a little bit of Fabrifix glue not a whole lot and smush it around place it right on the cover actually I'm gonna place this one right on this cover and then I'm going to place this one I'm gonna cut it out just fussy cut around the edges and then ink it and place that this one on this book right here I think the circle and the square and um, the other odd shapes that this right here makes I think it's just it's cohesive like, in a sense like circle makes a square sometimes you know and that one will go right on here circle makes a square that's funny a circle can make a square if you get enough of them together and then I'm just gonna use my little micron pen here in point zero three um, diameter that's the measurement of the uh, the felt tip and I'm just gonna write um, on here
the pressure, right? <laughs> Spelling everything correctly. So there's that. I have my uh, mini journal. I have my mini thoughts. So those can go really cute into Happy Mail. And this one I'm just going to put... Did I put paper in here? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm just going to write um, journal. And let's put the year 2022. I'm sure if I was not under any kind of pressure or recording, I, my handwriting would be a lot better. But <laughs> there you have that. Okay, so there's three little ideas that you can... I think those are so cute. Okay, let's make one more. Um, <laughs> I still have this paper here, but um, I want to use some book page. So let me grab some book paper and I'll be right back to ticks. All right, so I have this book. Uh, it's a Guinness Book of World Records. I saved it from a fire. This book was actually on a burn pile. Um, and I don't think it's very useful. Any of the information in here is probably uh, outdated. So here we have cheese. The most active cheese eaters are people of France. <laughs> the oldest cheese. <laughs> I mean, okay, the largest cheese ever made was a cheddar weighing 31,591 pounds. I mean, interesting stuff, but considering, ugh, who knows what's in here. Again, saved it from a burn pile. Um, you know, I think I'm just going to use some of this. So I'm going to just grab a couple of pages right out of here. Ones with lots of writing on it, not so many pictures. So like these right here. I know, I know, I'm ripping up paper. I'm sorry guys. This book was published in 19, first time, 1962. Last time, 1972. I think it's okay to let it go. So. There's my uh, contribution. <laughs> I'm repurposing a book that was literally going to be on fire within the hour of me saving it. So again, I'm just folding this over to about two and a half inches. Going to place it in here just up to the line, but not all the way. And hopefully... Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with my circle punch today. It usually plays very nicely sometimes. And then this is so cute. Okay, so this has actual writing on it. And there's a little picture of an individual in there. And um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and stick this into one of our books. Place that like that. And you'll notice that if your pages are too wide when you get to here, the hinge of your book, that means you didn't push it in enough into the circle punch. And you can go in and fix that by just um, sticking it back in there. Or I would just come in and cut away a little bit more off the edges here. Okay. And that narrows this section that's hinged right and then that should fit into your little cover okay so i'm going to open it up to the center pop it down right here with a little mini staple and close it up with my bone folder or your fingernails if you have any i like using my fingernails because i get to feel where the staple is going you know and there's that and then you can put a little book plate on it so here's another little book plate that I started playing with I'm just gonna cut that off ink that edge um, let's put a larger corner on it So 
super cute. And this was just scrap, guys. Like, go through your scrap pile and see what you can find. Make something cute and send it to someone. They would be more than happy to get something this cute from you. I'm, I'm almost positive. This can even be, like, something that you keep by your bedside table if you have... Um, if you wake up in the middle of the night and have a thought that you want to write down, write it down. There you go. So this is a cute one with some book paper instead of writing paper, but you can easily turn this into writing paper by simply um, white gessoing the pages in here. And white gesso will cover up just about any um, any book page writing and then you can just write directly on top of it all right guys enough fun for today I hope you guys enjoyed this twisted Tuesday go ahead and give this a little try I think you guys will enjoy the process it's really simple get a large circle punch this is two and a half inches okay and just chomp through some paper I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a crafty day. Stay naturally curious. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.